Hi everybody. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about staying safe while you're traveling. As far as being robbed, uh, at, you know, possibly at gunpoint, injured, you know, assaulted, anything like that. Because you would think in my experience of cruising, the amount of times I've cruised and the different destinations I've cruised and all the different cruise lines I've cruised, I would have come across some sort of incident that would make me like really nervous about a cruise ship. And uh, I gotta tell you, I've had way more incidences on non-cruises vacations than cruise vacations. So have I ever come across a thing where I was robbed on a cruise ship or I got into a fight or assaulted or ever felt endangered to my physical being or anything on a cruise ship? 178 cruises, folks, and not once, not once. Now, I'm not a young 20-year-old female traveling by herself. I'm not an, uh, yet in the, the 80s and 90s traveling by myself. I'm not an easy target. You know, people don't say, hey, that's a guy to, uh, you know, I can easily take, you know, them and rob them and run away and get away from it. You know, if you're a certain size, a certain age group, you're safer, right? If you're a, a male, you're, you're safer. It's plain and simple. They're not going to target you as easy for certain things. However, you hear all these stories about fights on cruise ships. You hear people being robbed on shore excursions at gunpoint. And I got to wonder, where are they going? Because are they going wandering off into, into these small, poor, third world countries by themselves? And they're watching, walking out with their big watches on their wrists and they're carrying their purse and they're spending money like this and they look like they're tourists. I don't quite get it, but I've never ever once had an issue on a cruise ship. Have I had issues on land vacations? Yeah, well, I, I guess this can almost count because I did tell you the story once where I was booked at the Embassy Suites in Fort Lauderdale. Sorry, no, it wasn't the Embassy Suites, that, ho that one. It was another hotel on the Beach Strip. I remember now, I could, that's before I found the Embassy Suites. And I was just going down to pick up my food. It was still times of COVID, so you had to order your food and they would put the box on a shelf near the customer service desk and you would have to go down and pick it up. And I was walking to the elevator and there's a guy walking up and down the hallway like near his room and I'm way down the corridor at another room and the elevators are kind of between us. And I walk down and he's just pacing back and forth and kind of this grim look on his lady like this. And I walk to the elevator, I ring the elevator door button and I I open up the elevator door, step in to go down and pick up my food, and the guy comes into the elevator with me like this, and as soon as the elevator door closes, he gets right into my face and says, you've been looking at my wife? I said, buddy, I didn't even know who the heck you are. I don't even know who, if you, you have a wife. I've never seen you before in my life. You've been looking at my wife, haven't you? And he got like right here in my face, like right here. And as he's doing that, I'll tell you, I had my keys in my pocket and I was putting the keys into my hand and I was just getting ready to slug this guy the second he made a move because he was freaked out. He was high on something, a complete lunatic. And uh, I did go down to customer service and talk to them and the, uh, he, apparently he wasn't even a guest. He snuck into the elevator with somebody else and he, he got arrested and taken away. But that, that was a close call and that was on the way to a cruise. I guess that can count. But I've also gone on land vacations where I'm in an area with other people and friends and 
the staff there, while polite and everything like that, are a little creepy towards the female people around, sitting at the bars and everything. Like, as if, you know, there's a strict rule on cruise ships, no fraternizing, right? There's no, hey, let's, let's, let's hang out later and all this kind of stuff. At the hotel resorts, that seems to be a thing where that happens. And it's to the point where it's almost creepy sometimes, where they are kind of eyeing and following the, the female guests in some of the crews, especially female guests traveling together in a small group. It, it really kind of freaked me out a little bit. And uh, I was in a large group of like 11 of us, and uh, there were couples on, in the group with us. And the, yeah, it did freak a lot of us out where the attention was way overwanted. Wasn't it? Wasn't hey, we're just being nice and friendly. It was hey, how you doing? Kind of attitude, right? And uh, yeah, never experienced that on a cruise ship. I wish people would come on to me on a cruise ship, <laughs> but that just doesn't happen. Um, but no, in all seriousness. I know cruise line, I know there's incidences obviously on cruise ships where things happen, where inappropriate things happen. And a lot of times, you know, it's alcohol involved and things like that. But I guarantee you a lot more is happening on land than it is on cruise ships, a lot more. And so when people ask me, do you really feel safe going anywhere on cruise ships? I go, well, I've been on 178 cruises and yet have ever come across anything where I felt I was in any kind of danger.